Hey, how are you doing? Hi there, how are you doing? What are these? These are a pair of gloves that my great aunt left me. We have a bunch of old movie star signatures on them. We have Clark Gable right here, who's probably the most notable of the bunch. That's pretty cool. And then Cesar Romero along the bottom. I'm impressed. So do you think all the signatures are legit or? I'm pretty sure they are, yeah. I'd be super bummed if she left me one thing and they were fake. <laughs> <laughs> These gloves are special to me because my great aunt left them for me. I think the reason she left these for me was because she knows how much I love 50s movies and old Hollywood. I'm going to be asking $1,000 for the gloves. I think the lowest I would go would probably be about $800. So what's the story? Why have them sign that? Um, back in the 50s, my great uncle was the mayor of San Francisco, so they went out to parties all the time, got to meet a lot of cool people, and he always dragged his sisters along. So this was from one of their many parties. All right. You got Cesar Romero. Mm -hmm. Wasn't he like J the Joker or something? I think he was the Joker, yeah. yeah. OK. Nice. All right. Oh, Clark Gable's signature is huge. Do you know much about him? I've seen Gone with the Wind. <laughs> there you go. He uh, was pretty much like the man's man of Hollywood for the entire time he was there. He was the guy they photocopied to make other actors. The prototype. <laughs> yeah. Clark Gable is such a huge star, he was even dubbed the King of Hollywood. We don't get a lot of Clark Gable stuff in the shop, so this is pretty special. So what are you looking to do with them? I'd like to sell them. Any idea what you might be looking to get out of them? I was thinking roughly $1,000. OK. I mean, if they're all real, I mean, it could be a, they'd be worth some money. Cool. But I don't know if all these signatures are legit. So let me have a buddy of mine come down and take a look at it. That'd be great. All right, uh, I'll be right back. Thanks. I'm like 99% confident that they're all real, seeing that my great aunt left them to me, but who knows? So we have a pair of opera gloves, one of which has signatures from some 50s actors. Uh, we've got Cesar Romero and Clark Gable. Wow. You know, Cesar Romero is one of the top villains of TV of all time. He was the Joker with a mustache because he refused to shave off his mustache, so they put the white makeup over his mustache cool. to film with. All right. So can you take a look at them and tell me if they're legit? Yeah. The first one I want to look at is Cesar Romero. But here we see how he goes from the O to the M. He brings this O at the end. He does the same thing here. The next one, the one that was the most important one to look at, is Clark Gable. And I see some similarities. The B, L, E. And you take a look here. It's pretty similar. Um, unfortunately, Clark Gable, I'm having an issue with. The most important one. What I can't get beyond is when I see the G on here, and I see this G, I see a whole different signature. I'm looking at a G that's connected to the A, goes to the BLE. Pardon me for interjecting, sure. but I did read that he had two types of Gs. That lower style G you're talking about, that was really early on. Was it a woman that ended up getting me signed? Great, yeah, my great aunt. See, because this has a woman's flourish and feel to it. Hoodwinked, huh? <laughs> yeah. The rest of the signatures on there, any value there? Or? Yeah, it's probably worth, uh, you know, $150. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe 200 but can't use it as a display piece because Clark Gable is not authentic. Well, I can because no one will know. Yeah, you can. <laughs> yeah, you can hang some more, so. Well, I appreciate you coming yeah, down, man. Thank you very much. Thanks. I appreciate yeah, your time as well. Good luck. Thank, Thank you very you. much. So, you know, I really don't want to sell fingers off a glove. <laughs> I hear you. The sentimental value is probably worth more. Maybe I'll wear them now, knowing that they're fake. <laughs> they're pretty could, rad. And you can be the weirdo with the fake signature on the hand. Yeah. Possibly one day I'll do something cool and frame them and put them up. And of course, when I do that, I'm going to tell everybody that the Clark Gable signature is authentic.